November 3rd, the Brotherhood of Steel. I don't really know who they are, or where they came from. Some sort of military organization. They're skilled, well-equipped, unafraid. Driven by their own mission that I don't fully understand. But they seem honorable, at least. That mission to Arcjet had my nerves frayed every inch of the way. But Paladin Dance charged through those synths like it was just another day at the office. He said I have the makings of a soldier. I don't know what he sees in me that would make him think that. That would make him offer me a place in their ranks. It must be only an inkling of potential because I don't see it. Regardless, I have a more important mission right now. I can't take time away from that for anything less than personal survival. I am grateful to them for the supplies and for letting me stay the night with them. But if Paladin Dance and his Brotherhood can't help me find Sean, then they are only a distraction. Okay. Well, dog meat. Uh, let's see. It's time to get going. I don't want to wear out our welcome, and besides, we gotta get to Diamond City, so I think we should head out. These people have done all they can for us, or at least all they're willing to do anyways. Um, thank you guys, um, for... Paladin Dance is one hell of a squad leader. I don't know what we'd do without him. Yeah. Paladin dance. There's still a place for you in the Brotherhood, if you want it. I know. Um, I know. Uh, but I, I, yeah, I'm not ready to. No, sorry. Suit yourself. You know where to find us when you're ready to make a decision. Yeah. Don't take what Knight Reese says personally. He's like that with everyone. What's the matter? Don't have the guts to join up. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. <sighs> okay. <sighs> now, I did, um, they were able to give me a few more bullets for this gun. Okay, so we are in Cambridge, and I don't think we're supposed to be in Cambridge, and I don't think we want to be in Cambridge. If there are that many ghouls here, and it's foggy, not good. Well, this road, yeah, this is the road that just goes straight across the bridge. So, I guess we can go this way. Let's be careful, dog meat. Let's just be careful. I don't like the fog. Can't see what's coming soon enough. And I don't, uh, I don't feel very good today, boy. I had to take Red away last night, and now I'm feeling a little sick, and... It's just... Yeah, just not feeling so hot. Um... There's people up there. Okay. Are they human people, or are they ghoul people? They look like human people, but... I don't know if I want to bother them. I don't need... <clears throat> I don't need... company. 
well, I don't know, company would be nice, but I don't need, uh, I don't need trouble, that's, that's what I meant to say. wonder if they're friendly. If they're not, then um, yeah, if they're not friendly. Why are they just standing there? One's holding a gun. Yeah. It's probably not a good... I mean, I'm holding a gun, and I'm not going to shoot them unless they shoot me. They could be friendly, but just being cautious like me. You know what? Dog meat? We don't need. We don't need to... to yeah. I knew it. Every around every corner, there's going to be a memory. Nate was going to give a speech here. The night, that night, and he never got to do it. He was going to. He was going to give a speech. He was so nervous. He was practicing it for days. <laughs> I just need to focus. I need to focus on Sean and finding Sean. It's so quiet. It is so quiet. Dog meat, I grew up in this town. This is where I grew up. I used to come here in the summer. <laughs> I used to... Oh my gosh. I used to take that bus. I used to sit. I used to wait at that bus stop. This is just... It, it's just so strange. It's so strange. There's no one here. There's no traffic and there's no noise there's no there's just the wind <laughs> how can this not be a bad dream how is this not a really bad dream need to focus but I'm not gonna get anywhere if I'm just constantly dwelling on what was okay it's hard it's hard because just if dog meat it feels like just a few days ago that this was normal it was normal it, there were people and cars and it was just a few days ago Oh, watch your step here. This doesn't look safe. Oh my gosh. Did a boat crash into the bridge? Huh. Okay. Wow. Oh, there's people down there. You what the me. What? Yeah, the clean. Oh, it's on. Um, I don't like the sound of them. Dummy! Ain't personal, just you. Dummy! 
Dog meat. Dog meat. Are you? Oh my gosh. What the fuck was that? Dog meat, let's get out of here. Dog meat, come on. We don't need to be messing with people like that. We sure don't. Okay. Okay, I don't think they're. Oh no, 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 no. He's coming, he's coming, he's coming. Oh my gosh, he's got. I think he's wearing power armor. Oh gosh. There's gunshots up here too. Oh no. Okay. I think they're going back. No, he's not. Dog meat. What is this? Oh my god, what is that? Diamond City. This oh my gosh, what is that? Oh my Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what are I they Um no. Um What is going on? What are those things? Who are these people? Are they wearing baseball uniforms? Back up, back up, back up, back up. Diamond City mutants? What are you sh- Mutants! What are you shooting? I can't see <gasps> What is that? Oh my gosh. Oh no, did they kill the... <gasps> I think they killed those people. Oh no. Okay. Um... That's not good. That's not good at all. They killed those people. If they can kill those people, then they can kill me too very easily. Don't me be quiet. I don't want them to hear us. What is this? Oh my gosh, this is Fenway Park. Oh. Oh, they did. Oh my gosh, they killed all of them. Okay, I don't like this glowing. Okay, we better keep going. Protected by the wall. Diamond City. What? Diamond City this way. Is it inside Fenway Park? Really? There's one. Okay, I... Hello? Diamond City. Diamonds... It is in there, isn't it? They made a city out of the baseball stadium? Hello, hey, excuse Here me. Here the different raider groups are carving up Concord like Christmas turkey. Really? That doesn't sound nice. Hi, um... See those big lights? That's right. Working electricity. Yeah? 
So, so, Diamond City, this is Diamond City then? Defending Diamond City is nothing me, my boys, the wall, and a few turrets can't handle. Well, um, just so you know, there's some big giant green people down there that might argue with you there. So just, uh, I'm gonna go check out, I think some of your friends are... Wow. Oh, it's been a couple years since I've been here. What do you mean you can't open the gate? Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. Okay. I got orders not to let you in, Miss Piper. I'm sorry. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Protecting Diamond City means keeping me out, is that it? <laughs> oh, look, it's the scary reporter. <clears throat> I'm sorry. But Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Mayor. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. Ugh. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. <sighs> okay. Hi. Hi. You. Yeah. You want into Diamond City, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do. Okay. What? What's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? Uh, Do you have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? Yeah. <laughs> sure. I do. You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better huh. head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Okay. So... This... This, this is Dime City, yeah? Oh, the green jewel. She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. Hmm. The big wall. Some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> okay. Oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. Okay. A real city, huh? Inside. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer Ooh, scrap that for state parts. Mr. McDonough, tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Well, yeah. What? Uh, what newspaper are you talking about? Mine. Oh. Public occurrences. Okay. And we're the hard look at the truth. So are you with us or not? Well, yeah, I mean, I always have believed in the freedom of the press. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Okay. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? Okay, um, yeah, well, yeah, I'm, what exactly were you arguing about? I, I'm not really catching on to any of this. <laughs> what do you think? I mm. print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth. <laughs> <laughs> no, was there okay. anything particular you came to our city for? Yeah, um, I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Mm -hmm. Who? Um, my baby boy, Sean, he's, yeah, he's just a baby, less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Mm hmm You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just gonna stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well, 
I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident well, that you can find help here. Diamond huh? City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Okay. Uh, but really, I mean, you can't help me? You're the mayor of a great city? You can't help? Well, uh, uh, there is uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, okay. usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. <sighs> okay. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, Mr. <sighs> What's the real reason security never investigates in the I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's <sighs> tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found my next story. What? Me? I... You mean me? You're... okay. She wants to make a story out of me. So... okay, well let's... dog meat, come on. Let's go see if we can find this... uh, Nick Valentine person. I guess... the security people aren't gonna help. I mean... okay, I don't... I don't understand. Wow. This is crazy. There's actually a city inside here. Hey, kiddo. How the paper sales? I... <laughs> well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for Whoa. weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? <sighs> Piper? <sighs> Is Mayor McDonough telling the truth? What does he have to hide? I used to... <laughs> Nate took me here a few times. He loved baseball. I wasn't... It was alright. I wasn't a, a big fan, but... I came with him. It was fun. Wow, it's a lot different now. <sighs> Hi. Free you... paper to newcomers. If the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. The institute. You ain't heard of the Institute lady? Well, they snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better read up before they grab you, too. Okay. Well, who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so, someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. Okay. S okay. S so the Institute takes people. And. Okay. Sure, uh. Thanks. You are a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I am. Um, hey, can you tell me? The public is here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. Okay, you don't... So, what is... This is the paper that this Piper woman wrote? Alright, I'll, uh... Take a look at it. Soon. 
Anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her permanent hair. Mm -hmm. The mayor's secretary? Come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nick McDonough huh. with your razor, he'd bleed. Maybe Don't I should just go. nothing. Hmm. It might be better than going to sleep every night wondering if I'm going to be there when I wake up. Leave the wall? Haircut. What are you, nuts? You wouldn't last an hour out there. I'll take my chances on this side. Everybody's talking about getting snatched. No funny business. No, no, none at all. So, so you guys still decorate for Halloween? That was a couple days ago. Excuse me. The game changer. Protection for sale. Hand tool pieces. So, this is the market. Right here. Wow. This is... <laughs> this is different. This is, uh... The latest hairstyles from the upper stands. The hairstylist. High quality cams right here. Surgery. A doctor. Oh. I'm... Keep looking at me like that. I'm gonna start thinking you're a sin. I'm not looking at you. I was even looking in your direction. Alright. Um. Doctor would be great. I. Because I just have not been feeling well today. Hi. New file to open. Do you have a legitimate medical concern? Or is this about a facial reconstructive services? Facial reconstruction? Uh, it's Doc Crocker's specialty. If you're interested, talk to him about it. Just head through the door with our logo on it. Now, if you have an actual medical problem, speak up. No, I don't want, um... I don't want facial reconstruction. Um... I I haven't been feeling well, so I would like you to take a look at me. Now, go over your symptoms for me. Okay. One at a time. Well, I um now I've just been really kind of nauseous and just just I just don't feel good. Do you have anything? Uh, you look fine, but oh, wait. Yeah. That's going to need to be set back in place. So Let's get started. Place. I just uh, feel sick, that's all, so. And that's that. Anything else bothering you? <sighs> well, uh, no, no, not right now, thank you. All right. Don't ruin my hard work by dying out there. That's the plan. This is definitely the plan. Actually, do you sell... I, I I could just really use... Do you sell antibiotics? This better be an emergency. I, I, just, I just wonder if you sell antibiotics. Uh, let's see what I can spare. Oh, you do. Oh, no, I can't afford it. I would love to have some on hand. Well, thanks anyway. I I'll be back when I have the caps. I um dog meat I need to figure out how to get more caps. It's I need I need to find Sean. But how can I find Sean if I'm Jeez lady dying in bed? I like guns too. But you think you might be overcompensating there? What? Self prescribed cam. I just as recommended by me, myself, I have a couple. and I. Is that too many? I don't know. Um, anyways, I'm hungry. Let's. I, I'm curious if they have noodles. This is a robot. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. 
Okay. Uh, yes. Noodles. Oh, that sounds good. <gasps> Actual food. Freshly made. I've got to... I'm going to buy some. <sighs> um, oh my gosh. They're very expensive. <sighs> All I have is a little bit of Instamash. And some uncooked crow meat. <laughs> I'm gonna buy some. I am just dying uh, no. for real food. Thank you. We got small arms, long arms, ammunition. <sighs> okay. Well, I think I'll uh, take a suit. I should maybe take a look at this one paper. Um, I forgot what it was called. Um, there it is. <clears throat> Public Occurrences. Synthetic Truth by Piper Wright. Noodles. We eat them. Uh, we all eat them. We all love them, and Diamond City's Power Noodles has supplied this sustenance for the past 15 years. From the stilted mechanical cadence of Takahashi's programmed Japanese, to the fragrant steam that wafts from each bowl, to the scalding tang of each delicious mouthful, the, the ordering and eating of noodles is but one of many shared human experiences. Or is it? I was struck by this very question as I sat at the counter of Power Noodles last Wednesday night just after 5 p.m. enjoying a dinner I had so many times before. That's when I noticed our very own Mayor McDonough sidle up to a stool and engage in the very same ritual. Right hand extending, mouth opening, teeth chewing, yes, eating noodles. The shared experience of almost every Diamond City resident. So it must have also seemed to the residents of Diamond City nearly 60 years ago. On an uncharacteristically warm May evening in 2229, as they sat around this very same counter, but that was before the days of Takahashi and his noodles, when the bar served not noodles, but ice-cold nuka colas frothy beers, and stiff shots of whiskey. The barman's name was Henry, and that night, he facilitated the shared human experience of drinking, smoking, talking, and laughing. That is, until tragedy struck. There aren't many among us who are even old enough to remember that evening, although some of the city's ghoul residents certainly could have... Ghouls? Residents? Hmm. Had they not been forcibly removed thanks to Mayor McDonough's anti-ghoul decree of 2282, but there is one person among us who does remember distinctly the events of that evening. Respected matriarch Eustace Hawthorne, who recounted her story in a Public Occurrences exclusive interview. Oh, I was there all right, sitting right at the bar, sure as you're sitting in front of me now, 22 years old or so, and just looking to have a good time. I was safe behind the wall. We all were. So what was the harm? And let me tell you that Mr. Carter made it easy. He came into town earlier that day, said he was from out west somewhere. It didn't really matter. What did matter was his smile and his laugh and the way he'd make everyone feel at ease. That night at the bar, we all just sort of crowded around him. Everyone wanted to exchange a word or hear about the state of the Commonwealth. And Mr. Carter, he was all too happy to oblige. It was just so wonderful until it wasn't. Eustace continued her account of that evening and the moment when things turned sinister and the truth about Mr. Carter was revealed. 
We'd been drinking and carrying on. Must have been three hours. Mr. Carter had four or five drinks in that time. He seemed a bit drunk, I guess, like the rest of us. Then something just sort of happened. He was smiling, but the smile sort of went from his face, all in an instant, and then his cheeks started twitching, kind of funny. And I remember watching him, clear as if it happened just yesterday. He reached inside his coat, took out a revolver, and then, blam, he shot Henry, the barman, right in the head. Didn't hesitate, didn't show any emotion. Mr. Carter killed Henry as casually as if he were paying him for a drink. But his cheek never did stop twitching. Let me tell you, all hell broke loose after that. What Eustace is describing is, of course, the infamous event known as the Broken Mask, and the people of the Commonwealth learned for the first time that the Institute, the shadowy scientific organization responsible for the creation of combat androids, had actually succeeded in creating a model so advanced it could effortlessly infiltrate human society unbeknownst to the people of Diamond City. The Institute had somehow evolved their androids into true synthetic humans since. Oh my gosh. After he shot Henry, that Mr. Carter shot three or four other people too. Like I said, all hell broke loose. The guards came running, they opened fire, and Mr. Carter, he kept shooting and throwing people around left and right. Finally, those guards put him down. Seemed like they had killed a man who had flipped his lid, gone crazy, and he lay there like a dead crazy man, sure enough. God, it was horrible. But then we saw the plastic and the metal. This was one of them early synths, you see, and we realized it wasn't a man at all. It was then all we knew. It was then we all knew. The Institute wasn't just out there. The Institute was everywhere now, among us. It was never determined precisely why the synth, known as Mr. Carter, went on his killing spree. Some suggested he had somehow been remotely controlled by the Institute, who wanted to test his combat effectiveness. Still, others felt he had simply malfunctioned, a hypothesis supported by the twitching cheek and was never meant to kill anyone. But at that time, the why hardly seemed important. What matters was that the humans of the Commonwealth had been truly infiltrated by an organization whose intentions and motives were, and still are, a complete mystery. Using a model of synth even less advanced than the ones the Institute has in service today. Which brings us to noodles. Specifically, the noodles consumed by Mayor McDonough last Wednesday night in the same spot that Mr. Carter, the synth, went haywire and mercilessly killed several people. After spending hours sharing an experience the people of Diamond City assumed was reserved for members of the human race, they were wrong, are we? Whoa. So... Don't walk outside the wall undefended. Wow. High quality protection for sale. Why buy just an ordinary piece of wood? Human a is a custom made piece of looking robots. Pe robots that look human enough to fool people. And everyone's talking about being snatched. This institute gives me the willies. I wonder if they're the ones who took Sean. Wow. Okay, well, <clears throat> um, I need to try to figure the out where to find this um, detective guy, whatever his name was. Um, uh, let's see. Kim, I care, cares about so you. So he sells medicinal needs. Kim's. He sells Kim's. That is, excuse me, the robot. Um, what's this? Diamond City surplus. Don't be caught dead. Okay. <laughs> Protection from Commonwealth weaponry. Win the game. He sells spy. weapons. He sells baseball bats and gloves and stuff. Okay. Interesting. Schoolhouse. You, 
You can't shop here. Diamond City surplus does not serve sins. Myrna, I keep telling you, I'm human. No, huh. sure. Don't let down the Fallons. Fallons basement. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm just gonna There's actually a Fallons here? I gotta see. expecting but uh huh interesting way to decorate um hi uh hello have you been here before no uh nope nope first time thought so some ground rules oh. this isn't a charity clothes are for sale if you have the money otherwise the door is right there you Okay. Um, you have a problem with shoplifters? Nothing me and my 10 gauge haven't been able to handle. Now that we understand each other, welcome to Fallon's. Happy to show you everything in stock. Okay. Um, I'd like to see what you have, sure. A paying customer, finally. Um, uh, hmm. I don't know about that, but. So, yeah, you don't sell. Okay, I was, yeah, I was hoping you sold <laughs> newer stuff, but I guess you don't. Um, interesting. Hmm, you sell some meds and stuff okay um, not that I can afford any of it though <sighs> you sell other things as well okay well uh, thing oh you know what I actually have some bullets for a gun that I don't use, um, will you buy these for me? I would like to sell them to you. I think that's about all I have, though. Thank you. Um, if I need more clothes, I'll know where to come. Uh, but I'm fine for now. I have a few uh, pairs of clothes, so... And uh, these are Nate's shirts, and I'd rather wear those right now. Move, Sim. What have you <sighs> yeah. done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Sim. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family! What's going on? Put the gun down, now! He's a Sim! He'll kill us all! Oh, Kyle, God. no! <sighs> okay, show's over. <sighs> There are no sins in Diamond City. Hear me? Oh, gosh. Just you folks and your damn paranoia. <sighs> you just shot that guy. <sighs> oh my gosh. What? What is going on? You thought he was a synth and you're not even gonna take him prisoner or anything? You're not even gonna just detain him and... Okay... Oh my gosh! What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business! Oh no! Oh no, one of those... One of those storms is coming. Um, mm. I need you to step away, Scabber. I just, I don't understand. I just, I just want to know what happened. What, you didn't hear the shouting? Yeah. Guy pulls a gun on his own brother, thinking he's a synth. It's that newspaper's fault. Got people all riled up, thinking their own family might be replaced by machines. Look, I'm sorry you got caught up in all this, but it's over, okay? 
Just go about your business like nothing happened. Oh, it's better that way. Really? Like nothing? You gonna tell that to him? Oh, man. Sir. You pulled a gun on me. Yeah. My own brother. I'm so, I'm so sorry. What happened? I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Wow. Uh, I was not expecting something like that here. Oh, I better get out of this. Is there anywhere I can... Do these people not care? Do these people not care about the radiation that is just coming in on this storm? Is there anywhere I can... What time is it anyways? I don't even know what time it is. It's getting late. Um... I don't even know where to look for the stick valentine. Wow. Okay, I just... Are you a butcher? I guess so. Okay. Dugout in. I can't believe you eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in a dugout in. And that's the bulls. Man's gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond City boy eats at the noodle stand. Okay, they made a, an inn in the dugout? Interesting. Let's go see. Vadim, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yeti. I am in the middle of storm. So then, I am crossing the river. Wearing nothing but a smile. Wow. When the out comes, it's the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A Meyerlurk! A Meyerlurk? Come on, Meyerlurk. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly. Jim! Oh, I forgot you were there, Yefim. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. Huh. You run into feral ghouls. Keep your distance. Mindless eating machines. Hi. They'll always come straight for you. I, uh, yeah, I believe you. Maybe living here's not worth it. If the paper's telling me. Hi! See this bar? I killed a man for it. Um. <laughs> no, no. I kid, I kid. Okay. <laughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. Um. So, this is your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. Okay. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> okay. Um, I not now. I'm. I don't need a drink right now. Thank you. Ah, come on. Maybe later. Sorry, but I would like to rent a room. Uh, does uh, your brother rents the rooms? Is that what you said? I couldn't quite. Uh, are you the brother? Oh, a customer. Need a room? Um, yeah, you know what? I think so. Um, probably gonna be spending the night here. Um, what is the story on this place, anyway? Not much to say. We sell food, drink, and rooms. Mainly for traders that come to the area. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waitress, and she helps me keep the rooms clean. As much as they can be. Okay. Um, but yes. Um, ten caps. That's not much, so... Yeah. Yeah. Give me a room. You're in room two. Just through the door. Thank you. There it is. Okay. Wow. A real bed. 
that's not on the ground with a mattress and it's even kind of clean looking. <sighs> There's no blankets. Um, but wow. <sighs> well. I don't know what to make out today, dog meat. Hey. Hey, okay. Hey. Hey, stay here. Okay? You're gonna be wandering all over the place now. It's time to stay put for a little while, huh? I'm gonna sit on this couch. Oh. <laughs> you relaxing a little bit too? Good. That was crazy out there, dog meat. I I never <laughs> seen such a thing. And my nerves are still a little bit rattled from that. Wow. Um <sighs> Alright, well so um, we gotta find this detective guy. And hopefully he can help us. Hopefully he can help us. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. This this city is... Well, it's a shanty town, is what it is, but... Still. It's the first civilization we've seen. Yeah? And... <sighs> I don't know. I'm thirsty. I'm gonna have that Insta Mash too. I'm kind of worn out. I think I'm gonna hit the hit the bed early and tomorrow. We'll go out and look for this Nick Valentine, huh? Yeah, sounds like a plan.